Jay Lore in Paso Robles, California. You know, they have 3,000 acres of planted vines. 3,000 acres, that's like nearly five <laughs> square miles of grapes. Ridiculous. Growing there. And because they have so much planting there, they have so much to pick from, they can pick the best fruit and create mm. really good wines like they have here in this 2010 Jay Lore Seven Oaks Cabernet Sauvignon, it is absolutely outstanding, and it's a $14 wine. Yeah, well, when you smell this wine, you just take a breath of this, you know you're gonna have something that's complex. There's some complexity on the nose here. It's like, it's like lots of fruit, lots of fruit, and then something more exotic, like almost like some, some fresh herbs or so, something that complements that, a little oak maybe, something like that. But it, 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 long story short, you smell this wine, you know you're in for a real treat. Well, you That's absolutely what are, Joe. Like. You, you're, you're picking up some smells of the flavors like. that are in this wine, and you've got that blackberry, that blueberry, mm. and cherry flavors, that fruit board flavors that are coming through. Man. Then there's another layer oh. of, of kind of a cassis, and dark chocolate in there yeah. with a little bit of like plum and spice. This is a juicy dry wine, which yep. is kind of interesting, and it is absolutely delicious. Oh man, this is special wine. There really, there really are a full three layers of flavor in here of, of, of just good fruit, good oak, all the right things, all the quality things that you want in a great wine, and that's why this is gonna rise up to the fine wine level, but it's not just the fine wine aspect here. There, it's that what I what you can smell a little hint of on here, and the taste it is lavender, mm. and the lavender is just a complimentary. This isn't lavender like you're washing your mouth out with soap lavender. This is <laughs> just a nice, fresh, complimentary. Um, herb that goes with all that fruit and gives this wine dimension and elegance. It goes way past, way past 14 bucks. This is no $14 wine. We pegged the value up at $22.50 and one of us was a well, dollar off one side or the other, but listen, $22.50, there are people who will call this a, a benchmark $30 Cabernet. So you're getting extreme value, quality in the glass for 14 bucks or less. It's a big two thumbs up. It is, it's a big two thumbs up for the 2010 yeah. J-Lor Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles, California. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so much fruit, round, out, layered. Play it. Boom.